now walking from across the main cross hall from the salon into what was originally the billiard room of the estate. Uh, very much a masculine aspect of the house. Uh, again, a very uh, heavily, a bold, heavily carved uh, fireplace in the room. Above the fireplace is a portrait of DeWitt Clinton Blair, Ledger Blair's father. Uh, the portrait was found in the house. The walls are covered with embossed Spanish leather. These are originally placed in here 110 years ago. Uh, beautifully, beautiful wall coverings. Houses of this era almost always, grand country houses of this era, almost always had a billiard room. A very typical um, retreat for the male guests for smoking and playing billiards, obviously. Uh, we're standing also above kind of the uh, other male aspects of the house, the Turkish bath, the smoking rooms, the uh, gun rooms down below in the basement, uh, the plunge pool, and the squash court. Off the billiard room, you'll see one of the original bathrooms uh, with the original sinks, marble sinks. So why, can you talk a little bit about the frequency of how this room was used? How often was it used and how often, how many men, for example, would come into this, this area over a season or a summer? Who knows, who knows, but I'll tell you, I'll, I'll do a little bit about um, what we know of a typical social evening at the house. Okay. Um, according to one of the uh, Blair nieces, uh, guests who would be here for an extended stay over a long weekend or even longer. Uh, the day would begin with breakfast, of course. Typically, the female guests would take their breakfast in their rooms, and the men would come downstairs to the dining room for their breakfast. After breakfast, the guests would engage in various ac recreational activities. Uh, men could go riding, men, women as well. All the women in those days almost always were in side saddle. The, the estate had miles of bridle paths and coaching roads that they wanted to go coaching or riding horseback. They could go fox hunting with the Essex Foxhounds and Peapack. Um, the estate was virtually its own country club. You had inside the house, as I've mentioned before, you had a squash court, you had a pool, you had the Turkish baths, uh, you had the billiard room. On the outside, you had a tennis court, you had a shooting box uh, for skeet uh, and trap shooting. Uh, there was a horse track. You could go riding on a track. Uh, you had the lake at the foot of the hill for boating, fishing, and swimming. Um, there was even a three-hole golf course on the property, as well as a putting green that Mr. Blair eventually added here near closer to the house. So really, all of your recreational desires would be covered on the one property. So after the morning, luncheon would often be taken uh, either in the, on the terrace under a, an awning, uh, often would be taken down at the boathouse. The Blairs had a private boathouse on the lake. They would often serve lunch there. Um, after lunch, people would continue to uh, engage in recreational activities uh, until tea time, and they would have tea, after which, and that was about 4 o'clock, uh, after which the general rule was you retired to get ready for dinner. Around 7 o'clock, uh, the gong would ring in the main hall, alerting all the guests that uh, cocktail, pre-dinner cocktails would be served. Uh, according to the Blair's niece, in good weather, cocktails would often be held out around the reflecting pool, uh, or perhaps on the terrace, uh, or in the house. Dinner would be served at 9 o'clock, fairly late, uh, by modern standards, um, after which the men and women would usually split up and retire for a bit, the men often coming here to the billiard room for cigars, pipes, what have you, and the women usually across the hall in the salon. The group would then reconvene later, uh, often for entertainment. Sometimes uh, opera singers would come out from the Metropolitan Opera to entertain. 
They have other musical groups, orchestras, dancing on occasion. Uh, although she made a point that on Saturday nights, everything came to a screeching halt at midnight when we turned into Sunday morning, and then everyone would retire. The, the, the party was over at midnight. 